Next up on copycat.com, chocolate crinkle cookies. Hi everyone, this is Stephanie Manley with copycat.com. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make chocolate crinkle cookies. These have been one of my most requested cookies that I have made this past year, and I'm gonna show you how to make them as well. Now these cookies are dairy free. There's no butter or milk products in here, but there are eggs in here. So if you have a food allergy, please be aware of that. So let's make these cookies. They're super easy to make. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add one cup of cocoa into our mixer. We're gonna add two cups of sugar into our mixer as well. We're gonna add four eggs. We're gonna add a half a cup of oil. And we're gonna stir this together. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add in our remaining ingredients. In goes the vanilla. Be sure to go to the blog, copycat.com, for all of the ingredients. We are gonna add in the baking powder. We're gonna add in our flour. And we're gonna add in some salt. The next thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna refrigerate this dough and we're going to put it in a plastic container that you can stick a lid on for at least four hours. Overnight is better. And this dough is a very sticky dough, so be aware of that. There's nothing wrong with it. This dough doesn't behave like a chocolate chip cookie dough. So we will come back with some chilled dough and I'll show you how to finish out these cookies. Okay, so now it's time to go ahead and start making our cookies. Now this dough has been well chilled. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna pinch off a ball of the dough, probably a good couple teaspoons of dough. You're gonna roll it in powdered sugar and you're gonna put it in your cook on your cookie sheet. You need to be about an inch and a half apart because the cookies do spread. And you also need to work quickly because once this dough warms up, it becomes way too sticky. So we're gonna bake these cookies for about seven to 10 minutes at 350 degrees. These cookies have just come out of the oven. I've let them rest on the cooking sheet for about a minute or so before I'm gonna go ahead and transfer them to a wire rack so they'll continue to cool. You can see these cookies are just gorgeous with the way the powdered sugar forms around the cookies. So just a couple of tips on these cookies. Be sure you go ahead and use parchment paper for these cookies because they are a little bit stickier. Even if you grease the cookie sheet with like a nonstick spray, they can still stick a little bit, but I find parchment paper works perfectly. So definitely suggest you get that. Or you could use one of those Silpat mats and put them on those just as well. Um, another tip is let the cookie sheet cool completely um, when you're making these cookies. I always like to cook with three pans when I'm making cookies. That way I have one loaded and ready to go. I have one that I've just taken off and it's cooling. And then one sheet I can go ahead and um, have in the oven. So I think that this keeps the cookie sheets um, just fine and not too hot when you put the dough on. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to go to my blog at copycat.com and check out my chocolate crinkle cookies. I'm all over social media. So if you like, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. You can find me as Copycat Recipes there. And of course, my blog, copycat.com. So we're gonna go ahead and try one of these cookies here. You can see they look, they're just as cute as can be. There's a little bit of powdered sugar on the back. So they're a little bit messy to eat. So we'll go ahead and give us a try. There's a really nice, rich chocolate flavor in these cookies. I hope you really enjoy them and I appreciate you watching. Thanks.